OK, so let's imagine your trackers tell you that there's a piece of space junk heading at colossal speeds towards your extremely expensive and precious spacecraft. What can you do? Yeah, and this is, good. This is the key. Uh, and this is a great video from East of the European Space Agency, who has to deal with this. Now, you're obviously not going to be able to remove the bit of junk because you can't control it. So the only option you have is maneuvering the satellite out of the way. And so this ends up being the key for satellite maneuvers is that satellites are built with um, little fuel and thrusters on it so that what they can do is, as we know something's headed for us, they can give that satellite a little bit of a, a push. And that push, hopefully, can get it out of orbit. So if we have our drunk, oh, no, it's going to be on a collision course with our satellite. Well, what this can do is be pulled to a slightly higher orbit or a slightly more elongated orbit and move out of the way of the junk. Now, this is quite a dramatic. You would never do it that much. But this goes to two principal problems. One, if we only know the orbit of the junk to within a kilometer, well, you're not going to just shift a kilometer because you may shift it still into the oncoming debris. So you need to be safe. You need to shift it five kilometers or 10 kilometers. But it also means you have to use the fuel on board, which controls and steers it and keeps it going. And the more times you do that, the more... You cut into the lifetime of your rocket. Exactly. And then that may turn into junk as well. So you can get out of the way of junk if you know where it is, if you know where it is really well, and you have enough time to actually tell your other satellite to get out of the way. So it is possible, but there's a lot of situations that have to go right in order for this to work. So the International Space Station does this quite often, that they hear there's oncoming debris, they give the space station a bit of a kick, uh, and they get it out of orbit. And they're doing this more and more. So it is possible. We can get it out of the way. The problem is we often either don't know about it, we don't see it coming, or it's into something that we can't control. And when it does hit, the impacts are catastrophic.